You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this first clip, you see Tammy Marisi catching the basketball. I want to get the basketball up. And one of the things that it talks about also in her written evaluation you know, is just how well she shoots the ball, both off the catch and off the dribble, going to either hand. You'll see some more of that as we get into these clips and get this thing rolling. Introducing Tammy Marisi. You know, I think a lot of times as an evaluator, and I'm sure that you know, both Jonathan Hemingway, our, one of our national evaluators, Clyde Pritchett, and Kyle Moore, our national director of scouting, would all agree. A lot of times you'll watch a kid who, who can shoot the basketball. Uh, they can shoot it off the catch. You know, they can't shoot it off the dribble, or they're much better off the dribble than off the catch. It is rare to find a kid, you know, who can shoot the mid-range, shoot the three, shoot it off the catch, off the dribble. As you can see here in these first clips, she does a great job of getting it off the catch. You actually see me step in and be able to talk to her here a little bit as she's shooting it. Um, just consistent with every shot, as you'll see. You're going to see her switch sides, you know, and just continue to do the same thing. You know, ball up, good shots time and, and time again. Um, you know, one of the great things uh, about Marisi that I've seen, both watching her playing games and, two, just honestly getting the opportunity to work with her. She's been to Fab Five camp, uh, junior Fab Five a year ago, Fab Five this past summer. Uh, the past two years and just getting to know her a little bit and just watching her, her play and, and watching her grow and progress. It's just her ability to continue to get better, her ability to take coaching, be able to make adjustments on the fly inside this workout. You know, she was able to make some adjustments, especially once we come off the dribble with her game and her footwork. Uh, just a great kid. You'll see she continues to get shots up. Now we backed up to the three-point line. Uh, you can see her after each shot. We call it getting locked and loaded. You know, ball goes up, follow throughs good, and then gets right back down, locked and loaded for the next shot. Doesn't waste a lot of time, waste a lot of movement in between shots. And staying here on the left wing, you can see her continue to get up shots here. Um, one of the things, like I just talked about in the last clip, is just how quickly she gets back down. Her hands are always out. She's ready to be a shooter. You see her right here, balls in the way, hands are up feet are good and by the time the ball gets to her she's in good shape to be able to get the basketball out and get it up real quick uh, here she knocks this last one down switching sides you know you're going to see a lot of the same result her continue to knock down this catch and shoot saw her do this seemingly all summer uh, both in camp and, and then with her travel team as well inside tournaments you know big shot from the wing momentum back breakers uh, she can also shoot it from the trail you know she's a kid who at 5'11 is going to be kind of a swing forward you know can can play and give you a, a bigger lineup so to speak and let you play a little bit at the three if your matchups are right especially on the defensive end um you know can also play the four stretch of defense out you know can shoot this same shot from the corner now uh, you're not going to see that inside the clips but can knock the same shot down from the corner also from the short corner 17 feet as opposed to stepping all the way out to 20. Uh, just a, a really good shooter. Once again, on bounce, off bounce, does all the little things. You know, will rebound the basketball, turns, pivots, will post, will do anything you need her to do on the floor. You know, you see us actually change the drill. Now you see us talking about some of the, the one bounce stuff that I, I referred to in the beginning of the workout. Um, we actually start talking with her a little bit. We got through this first rack to let her kind of get going, but you can see her feet a little bit. We call that stubbing, um, not the full complete step there to get your feet square. You actually see her correct that in the next couple of clips. You know, we want to make sure every time we catch it that we get square. But uh, as you can see, the basketball continues to drop. And at this point, she's coming off her right hand. We talk a lot in these videos and in evaluations and workouts inside the factory how tough it is for right-handed kids to shoot off the right hand to bounce. And Marisi does that extremely well. Last one. Now you're going to see the adjustment here. Uh, if you watch her feet a little bit, she does a better job of getting that right foot all the way up on the catch as opposed to, to stubbing it way back, you know, that we were talking about. You know, that's so much of the time, too, as we talk through this stuff, especially with a, a kid like her who we don't consistently work with. You know, it takes them a minute. You know, it, it will be even, you know, the second or third time that we get her back in the gym during the course of the spring, you know, if we don't see her during the school season where we're able to kind of continue to work on those things. She did a great job of, of picking that up and making a, a good 
inflow adjustment, excuse me, during the course of our workout. And as you can see, the basketball continues to drop seemingly every shot. You know, now you're going to see her go through the same thing, get the basketball back, and this time we're going left, so she's going to one two out of it. Um, a lot of times we will teach it on the, the jump stop, so to speak, so that you can go left or right off of the catch. But, you know, for the sake of wanting to make sure that we were in, in rhythm to shoot the basketball, you know, we did want to stay with that. Left foot is that permanent pivot, and that right foot is that permanent step. So here we're step, you know, jab, sending it back. You see her making a weak hand pass. That was one of the things, obviously, we wanted to emphasize as well. She corrects her own footwork here, gets right back into the floor of the dribble. We did want to emphasize that we can pass. And as you can see, she comes off that left hand and is just as good as her right hand. Still sticking with the left hand, or left, excuse me, coming off her left hand for the right hand pull-up. I'm sorry about that. Uh, left hand, we can pass, getting the basketball back. Then being in a position to be able to pull up, knock this jumper down. She does a really good job with her, her feet. If you watch the first step, she covers ground and is able to make that left foot her trail foot right away. You know, a lot of kids want to take three steps. They'll take that right step and kind of baby it. You know, they won't do a good job of creating or covering ground, creating space off that first step. So they'll step short right, long left, and then have to trail it back with the right again. Which, you know, we feel like, you know, isn't, isn't wrong, so to speak, but it does take a little bit more time to get your shot off. It gives a good defender time to recover a little bit quicker and also takes you out of a, a mode or a position with your body bounce to be able to counter if the defender takes your dribble drive away here and takes that shot opportunity away. You know, Tammy would be able to counter here. One, two, counter right there and come back to the middle of the floor if need be. Now you're going to see her get up and down a little bit. A quick change of direction there. Second. And then we're actually attacking the rim there on the right side. So you're going to watch her again. She actually comes down, attacks the first chair. Quick right to left. We come inside hand with this. Right to left change. Left to right change. And then come all the way back through the lane to be able to finish with your right hand. Last but not least, we actually wanted to get her a little bit of work here on the, the block just to show her ability to finish with either hand around the basket. It's one of the things she does so well when she cleans up, you know, whether it's a missed shot here or a missed shot there off of offensive rebounds, which is one of the, you know, attributes that she definitely brings to the table. I think at the next level is the ability to be in the right place at the right time. A real nose for the loose ball kind of kid, glue kid, if you will, at 3-4. She rebounds well from the wing. Also rebounds well from the four spot, depending on where you want to play her. And does a, a really good job of finishing once she gets the basketball underneath on either side with either hand, which is a rarity for a kid who can shoot the basketball that well out on the perimeter. 